Welcome to this new series from Learn and Gain on ServiceNow Event Management. This is part two of Introduction to Event Management. Please subscribe and support our channel to create more educational videos. Let us understand the basic building block of event management. What is an event? An event is a notable occurrence or a notification from an infrastructure component. Example of an event would be Memory utilization on server is 95%. C drive utilization on server is 90%. The monitoring system generally has an agent installed on the host, which will monitor the metrics as defined based on one's business requirement. And when the defined threshold is reached, the monitoring system generates an event. This is just like the fuel indicator in your car where the warning sign pops when the remaining fuel is 10% or less. Another important term that one should understand is metric. The metric is a measurement of a characteristic of a configuration item. Examples of metrics include CPU utilization, memory utilization, disk space, system state, uptime and downtime. Another important term within event management is an alert. An alert is another form of notification for selected events which are important in nature and require further attention. Not every single event requires an alert to be generated. Alerts are generated through event management rules. Alerts are tagged against a configuration item to show impact on application services. An application service is a set of interconnected application and hosts which are configured to offer a service to the organization which can be internal or external. Now, let us take a look at the high-level event management process. Events from monitoring systems are sent to service now event management through listeners or collectors. All events are stored in the M underscore event table. Events are processed through event rules and event field mappings. You can configure event rules to filter or ignore events, transform to the desired output, and trigger alerts based on certain thresholds. Event management consists of several scheduled jobs that are executed in the background for event processing. Event management also groups alert as primary and secondary based on machine learning for automatic correlation. We can group alerts manually or define rules for correlation. Alert management rules are used to process alerts to create incident and perform any remediation action. We can create an incident, launch a remediation workflow or even recommend a knowledge article for the operators to follow a defined set of instructions. Event management also calculates the impact of the corresponding issue on the configuration items and services. Now we will take a look at the event management architecture. The event management architecture consists of the ServiceNow instance with event management plugin activated, the interface through which users access the features and the internal or external network. Depending on the requirement, mid servers can be configured within the local network that can act as a listener for SNMP trap or pull data from connectors as needed. The default event collection is scheduled for every 120 seconds. The system property, event management connector, minimum schedule can be changed as needed. Event rules can be configured to filter unwanted events, generate alerts, bind CI to alerts. By default, all events with severity, warning and above will generate alerts. There are multiple scheduled jobs that run in the background to pull events execute event rules, execute alert management rules, perform impact calculation, update service maps, and so on. The operator workspace is one of the key components where users can view the health of their application services. Each service will be associated with a primary alert and may or may not contain secondary alerts. The services within the operator workspace can be grouped or sorted by various options. The IDOM guided setup helps with the step-by-step -step instructions on how to configure event management within your ServiceNow instance. 
Some of the key scheduled jobs that one should know are Event management, process events. This runs every five seconds to process events leveraging event rules. Event management, auto close alerts. This runs every 10 minutes to auto close and active alerts after seven days. Event management, create resolved incidents by alerts. This runs every 11 seconds to create or resolve incidents based on incoming alerts. Event management, close flapping alert. This runs every five minutes to remove alerts from a flapping state after the defined quiet period. We will discuss more on flapping in future lessons. In the next chapter, we will discuss more on discovery and service mapping. Please support our channel by subscribing to create more educational videos. Thank you and have a wonderful day.